Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Um, yeah, once more in front of me, Phil. Yeah. Um, last time we caught um, the Ivy, Aline Royal, with the help of Ilbert and Yugiri, and um, yeah, and apparently, Minfilia has no problems giving us more tasks. As you may recall, Isaac used the Aetherite in the depths of Snowcloak to teleport a short distance to the west, most likely to a sanctuary of some description. It is there that we suspect she needs to summon Shiva using the crystals she stole from the house Fortum's caravan. The heretics believe that they are bringing about the second coming of a patron saint, but if, as we suspect, they mean to hold a summoning ritual of a kind employed by the beastmen, uh, it seems likely the result will be something more akin to a primal. Suffice to say, they must be stopped, and stop when we shall. But first we must surmount the obstacle that Ice Heart has placed in our path. Ordinarily, it would be a simple matter to tap into an established Ethernet and thereby follow our quarry. However, despite our best efforts, we have been unable to ascertain the position of the Etherite to which she teleported. Our prevailing theory is that she destroyed the second Etherite upon arrival. A reckless, desperate measure, but also an effective one. After discussing the matter at length with Yurianji, we have concluded that we lack the expertise to develop a solution. Which is why we've called upon the aid of one who does possess such expertise. A colleague of ours who is currently en route to Revenant's toll from Shalian. She should be arriving within the hour, in fact. Since you're here, mayhap, we could welcome her together. I'm certain she would appreciate the gesture. Let us make our way to the northern gates and await her coming. Man of woman she is she, I wonder. We have spoken by a link to her, of course, but it's not the same. Menphilia, am I right? None other. I bid you welcome to Revenant's Toll, and thank you for traveling so far on such short notice. <laughs> As if I could ever say no to Urianje. Moonbreda is an accomplished Charlian scholar and an authority on Etherite technologies. She has played an invaluable role in our search for a means to capture Asian souls. Charmed, I'm sure. Yep, definitely. Let us return to the Rising Stones at once. We have much to discuss. Tipsy Marty on the wall back there. I'm amazed you managed to find all the pieces after, well, you know. Moon! Gods, it's been ages! Oh, longer, sister! Joyous reunion indeed. Well, of course it is. Moon and I are like twin sisters. Save in appearance and aptitude.
Everyone, if I could have your attention. We have with us an esteemed guest who has come from Shalian to assist us. I bid Moonbreeder join us here that she might share with us her extensive knowledge of Etherites. Also, as many of you are already aware, she has been overseeing our research into White Orosite, a sample of which she has been good enough to bring with her. Well, I had to come, didn't I? You'd have to be bloody daft to turn your nose up at a chance like this. Where better to conduct my final tests than a land so steeped in ether you can taste it? Tis plain the passage of the years hath done little to dampen thy youthful spirits. And nothing at all to reform thy youthful manner. Big hug. Oriange, where in the hells have you been hiding? Uh, unhand me. <laughs> I come all this way, and that's what you have to say to me. I much preferred when you were pleading with me to drop everything and hurry to your side. What was it you said? None save thee can satisfy this need. Go on. <laughs> Thine artless attempts to misrepresent mine all too innocent motives do thee little credit. <clears throat> mine intent, as well thou knowest, was but to impress upon thee the gravity of the circumstance. Lest thou doubt, a deiform entity shall shortly be summoned. Save if thou, and no other, grantest my compeers thine aid. You still haven't found it, then, your missing etherite? We have not. No. We know that Iceheart teleported to an etherite not far from the first. Yet, even after careful analysis, we could not locate the second beacon. We now suspect that the heretics destroyed the second etherite to impede our pursuit. Our allies continue to scour Snowcloak for Icehot Sanctuary, but we have no guarantee that they will find it. Yet it must be found, for even now Icehot prepares to call upon Saint Shiva. I'm sorry, but if the etherite's been destroyed, then that's that. Although... You're absolutely sure she used the first etherite, are you? She didn't just use teleportation magics? One of our own bore witness to her escape. I can say with absolute certainty that Iceheart used the etherite. Yep. In that case, there might be a way, so long as the ethereal current is still flowing. Truly? How? We use the current to recreate the beacon. As you know, etherites are a bit like lighthouses. We use them to reconstitute our physical forms when crossing the ethereal sea. Without them, we'd lose all sense of direction and our essence would dissipate. However, we don't rely solely on these beacons. There are currents of ether which flow between them, currents which help guide us to our destination. Now, these currents will gradually dwindle away to nothing if an etherite is destroyed. But, if even a sluggish flow remains, we could theoretically use it to direct a surge of concentrated ether towards the void left by the beacon, and thereby fill it up again. Like opening the floodgates to fill a dry riverbed. Though, correct me if I'm wrong, but would we not need a veritable reservoir of ether? In concert, we might manage to channel a sufficient volume, yet that is not my chief concern. To direct the flow of so great a volume of ether with the requisite precision would be a nigh impossible task in itself. I barely succeeded in facilitating travel to an unattuned beacon. 
That which you describe sounds considerably more difficult. <laughs> Nothing to say. And dangerous. Every person who has attempted to teleport in this fashion has died in the process. They, however, did not have white aura sight at their disposal. I can use it to channel all the ether you can give me into the etherite. However, white aura sight cannot retain ether for an extended period of time, so we would need to infuse it immediately beforehand. Just so you know, I'd confidently give this plan better than even odds of success. And if the worst comes to worst, your people won't suffer. Though it risk the lives of our best and brightest, we have not the time to seek other options. If the ethereal current still flows, we shall carry out Moonbreeder's plan. Could someone ask me for deciding to gamble my life away? That's the spirit. Let's roll the dice. I guess I'm in. But a question would have been nice here. Ah, quest, right. I've already informed Alfin of our plan to recreate the beacon in the manner Moonbreeder described. He agrees that despite the inherent danger, it represents our only hope of success. He also said that he wished to meet with you at Snowcloak before proceeding. I expect you will find him waiting for you there when you arrive. I want you to know that I appreciate everything you've done on our behalf, Desiree, and that I have faith you will return to us, as you always have. Okay, snow cloak it is. And that crystal wave here, half a meter before the mob. Looking out for danger. Good to see you, Desiree. I was starting to wonder if you were having second thoughts. Captain Ibber sends his regards, by the way. He attends to be in interrogation of Elinor Yor and Ulda even as we speak. But I shall not distract you from your matter at hand. We can discuss the ivy upon your return. I trust that... By which I mean to say... Uh, <coughs> the others are waiting for us at the Aether right after you, Sion. Is ready. <laughs> it worked. Think. Try to tune into the ether right now. Feel the current and try to locate the beacon. We've done all we can this way. For now, let us withdraw. When your final preparations are complete, you must seek out the beacon we have created. If by the grace of a 12 you arrive safely, 
You must stop Isa before she summon summons Shiva. ignore the possibility that our actions have alerted Isa to our plans. Should that be the case, she may haste, attempt to hasten the completion of a summoning ritual, and if she succeeds, we will have little choice but to face Shiva in battle. Knowing little of this saint, I cannot say if your own strength will suffice, and so I would encourage you to call upon your allies. But some may have reservations about wagering their lives on the success of Moonbreeder's experiment. Moonbreeder's experiment but others will surely agree that desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, before you assemble your party, pray speak with at night. I believe he has a message for you on Sir Emmerich. I have a mind to, to join you, but Yuriandri made me promise I wouldn't. Apparently the thought of me becoming Shiva's fall was too much to bear. I never give her a chance. Madam, uh, Sir Emmerich regrets that he could not be here in person and asked that I read you this letter. <laughs> Ishgard faces an unprecedented threat, yet in our hour of need it's not her knights who stand poised to defend her. Desiree Klingwall, warrior of light, savior of Eorzea, your deeds this day shall not be forgotten. Where others would flee, you choose to remain. Where others would falter, you rise to the challenge. The others would use their gift for selfish ends, you will yours in service to a greater cause. May Halona bless you with good fortune and see you safely home. And because we are the protagonist, this works. So, let's look at Shiva then. Akafa Amphitheater. You should never have come here, warrior of light. I labor only to forge a lasting peace. A peace you would deny us out of ignorance and blind faith. No matter. If it is our fate to be at odds, then it is mine to strike you down. We whom gods and men have forsaken shall be the instruments of our own deliverance. Partake of my flesh. Fill this vessel with your light. Walk amongst your brothers and sisters once more. O oh, Saint Shiva, still the hatred within our hearts and bless us with eternal grace. Shiva.
nice to join the pros, my brothers. Embrace the serenity. Renounce the hatred to consume you. And scatter them like dust in the wind. Dying dust. She transformed back. Fool, blind, bloody fool. You, of all people, should understand the suffering war begets. That no sacrifice is too great if it brings an end to the violence. Mine is the righteous cause. You fight in a war you do not understand. A pawn of liars and schemers. And they are no less ignorant than you, following the creed of their fathers without question, never thinking to ask why. Trapped in a delusion of their own creation and blind to the truth. Warrior of light, redemption is not beyond us. We who walk before may lead those who walk after. Seek the keeper of the lake. See with eyes unclouded. Do, do not squander mother's gift. Feel. Think. The words of Hydaelyn.
And so the vessel withdraws, a predictable outcome. Nevertheless, La Habrea will be pleased. How unfortunate. You don't like La Habrea, Asian? By the twelve, you're alive. Uh, I mean, of course you're alive. Uh, why wouldn't you be? I thought it what? And uh, you're certain about that, are you? Trevanians are skills of glamours, after all. Look, if you s say that's what you saw, I believe you. Just that I never heard of a primer being summoned like that before. Are you sure you're not injured? Head trauma is known to cause hallucinations, you see? No? Fair enough. I am. I was only asking. Um, yeah. I actually think I end this episode here and we deal with the fallout of this next episode. Until then, I'm Mace and don't get lost.